Hello students, all of you are again welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel that is Science Guru Sarolo. And today I am here with a new chapter from class 8 science that is chapter 4 materials, metals and non-metals. So in this chapter we will discuss about the metals and non-metals, the differences between the characteristic features of the metals and non-metals, how we can identify uh, which one is metal and which one is non-metals along with the reaction uh, between the metals and non-metals with the different uh, organic matter so, so we'll start now first of all dear students as you are familiar with a lot of materials a huge number of materials just like the iron aluminium copper coal and sulfur etc among these some of the materials are classified as metal and some of the materials are classified as non-metal. Now the question is how we can identify which one is metal and which one is non-metal. On the basis of which characteristic features we can classify the metals and the non-metals. So before starting this we have to understand the physical and the chemical characteristic features of the metals and non-metals. On the basis of these physical and chemical characteristic features, we can uh, separate the metals and non-metals into different group. So, for, we will discuss now about the physical properties, physical properties of the metals. So, first physical properties uh, of the materials that is the malleability. Now, what is malleability? The property of the material by which uh, we can, uh, the property of the material by which they can be beaten into thin sheets they can be beaten into thin sheets it is known as the malleability and this is the physical uh, characteristic features this is the physical properties of the metal on the other hand the non-metal the materials like coal and pencil they uh, do not show these properties so they can be classified as the non-metal next number two that is the metals are good conductor of heat and electricity on the other hand uh, there are some materials uh, they are very poor conductors of heat and electricity they are they can be considered as the non metals the next third point is the ductility the property of the material by which it can be drawn into the wire it can be drawn into the wire it is known as the ductility then next is the sonorous what is sonorous the property of the metal by which uh, they can produce the ringing sound that is known as the sonorous so we can uh, say that metals are sonorous because they produce the ringing sound on the other hand non metals they do not produce the ringing sound so that, that is why they, uh, they are considered as not sonorous so on the basis of these uh, characteristic features or after performing all these activities we can say that the materials which are hard the, the materials which are hard lustrous malleable then ductile sonorous and the good conductor of heat and electricity they can be considered as the metal so what is metal the materials which are hard lustrous malleable ductile and uh, sonorous and also they are good conductor of heat and electricity they can be considered as the metal they are known as the metal example iron copper aluminium etc now on the other hand the materials which are not good conductor of heat and electricity they are not sonorous or uh, they are not malleable they are not ductile they are very soft easily break down and uh, they are dull in appearance they looks dull in appearance so these materials are can these materials are known as the non metals so what are non metals the materials which are soft dull in appearance breakdown easily not sonorous and poor conductor of heat and electricity these materials are known as non-metals example coal sulfur etc so this is all about the physical properties of the metals that are malleability ductile sonorous then good conductor of heat and electricity these are the physical properties of the materials now we will discuss about the chemical properties of the metals and non-metals what are the chemical properties uh, of the metals and non-metals so first one we can say that it is the reaction with oxygen generally when any metals react with the oxygen it produces the oxides of this metal and this oxide is basic in nature so we can say that in case of chemical properties the oxides of the metal 
are basic in nature. On the other hand, when uh, non-metal react with the oxygen, they produce the oxides of these non-metals and these oxides are acidic in nature. So this is one difference between the metals and non-metals on the basis of their chemical uh, characteristic features. That is, oxides of the metals are basic in nature and oxides of the non-metals are acidic in nature. Next, uh, next point is the reaction with water. Some metals uh, react with the water vigorously. That means they are very reactive. As for example, sodium and some metals, they react with water very slowly. As for example, iron. And on the other hand, generally, the non-metals, they do not react with uh, the water. So this is also one chemical characteristic features or chemical properties of the metals and non-metals as uh, we learn that metals uh, react with the water and non-metals they generally they do not react with the water. Then another one is the reaction with acids. What happen in case of metals and non-metals when they react with the acids? Generally non-metals they do not react with the acids but when metals react with the acids they produce the hydrogen gas. So this is also one more difference between the metals and non-metals on the basis of their chemical characteristic features. So on the basis of these physical and chemical properties, we can classify the metals and non-metals into separate group. As for example, metals are malleable, uh, ductile, then they are good conductor of heat and electricity and they are very uh, shiny appearance, they look shines, bright in color and on the other hand non-metals they do not uh, that means uh, they do not produce the ringing sound they are not sonorous they are poor conductor of heat and electricity they are not malleable they are uh, they can be easily break down these are the physical properties and chemical properties when metals react with the oxygen they produce the oxides and these oxides are basic in nature but on the other hand when the non-metals react with the oxygen they produce the oxides and these oxides are acidic in nature then reaction with the uh, water, uh, the, some metals they react with the water very vigorously because they are very reactive and some metals they react with the water very slowly uh, as for example iron. On the other hand, generally the non-metals they do not react with the water. Then reaction with acids, generally we know that non-metals they do not react with acids but uh, when the metals react with the acids they produce hydrogen gas. So this is the classification of the metals and non-metals on the basis of their physical and chemical properties. Now we will learn the uses of metals and non-metals in the different sources. How uh, we can use the metals and non-metals in our daily life. Metals are used in making machinery, automobiles, then aeroplanes, trains, satellites. Uh, industrial gadgets, also cooking utensils, water bottles, etc. These are the uses of metals, where we can use the metal. So again, metals are generally used in making machinery, automobiles, aeroplanes, trains, uh, satellites, industrial gadgets, or cooking utensils, water bottles, etc. These are the cases where we can use the metals. On the other hand, non-metals, they are used in the different uh, areas. That uh, as for example, non-metal is essential for our life, which uh, for our life which all living beings inhale during the breathing. That is the oxygen. Oxygen is one non-metal which is very essential for our surviving because we inhale the oxygen and, and during the time of respiration. The next uses of non-metal is non-metal used in the fertilizers which enhance the growth of the plants. As for example, nitrogen. Nitrogen is a non-metal which are using in the uh, agricultural field as a fertilizer which enhance or improve the growth of the plants. The non-metals used in water purification process. Non-metals, they are used in the water purification process as for example chlorine. Chlorine is the non-metal which is used in the water purification process. Then non-metal used in the purple colored solution which is applied on wounds as an antiseptic as for example iodine. It is used as an uh, antiseptic solution. Then non-metals are used in crackers also as for example phosphorus because it is more reactive. So it is used in the crackers. So these are the uses of metals and non-metals. I hope you understand about the metals and non-metals. The physical, the differences between the metal and non-metals on the basis of their physical and chemical properties. Then the different uses of metals and non-metals. I hope this will be helpful for you. 
and thank you for watching this video